The year 2020 commemorates the 100th anniversary of women's right to vote across the United States. The Frick is celebrating with a series of videos honoring stories of women at the museum who made, appeared in, collected, and took care of art in this collection. Women fought for the right to vote, and many continue to do so today. This episode is about a woman who took her life and legacy into her own hands at a time when that was not possible for most women. Admittedly, it was probably only possible for her because she was born into extreme wealth and privilege. Miss Mary Edwards was immortalized in her portrait by William Hogarth, wearing a fabulous red dress, dripping with diamonds, with her faithful dog at her side. She was thought to be one of the richest women in England at the time. But what's her story? When Mary's father died, her mother did not want to be in charge of the family's estate. So Mary inherited both of her parents' sizable fortunes at the age of 24. Headstrong and independent, she decided to marry a man of her own choosing, in secret. They had a child together, but very soon after, she repudiated the marriage when she discovered that her husband was spending all of her money. On subsequent legal documents, she declares herself a spinster and takes all of her property back under her own name. She even makes her son her own, not her husband's, essentially declaring her son illegitimate. In 1742, Mary commissioned this portrait from Hogarth. It would be one of a number of paintings by him that she would own. In fact, she became one of his greatest patrons at a time when most women didn't have the opportunity to commission art on their own. She was 37 when this portrait was made. She died the following year. What's written on the paper at her side? It's a passage from a play, Cato, by Joseph Addison, about the fight for rights, liberty, and legacy. Miss Mary Edwards and the women of her time did not have the right to vote. But if they did, I bet she'd be first in line. Thank you.